All right, I wanna take a minute and try to show you the sun's declination and see if we can see how that changing declination of the sun has a tremendous impact on our seasons and really see it here on the sky. So you may remember this spot, it's kind of a, a nice vantage point over Lake Michigan here. We've got the western horizon right here, due west is roughly right about there. We've got the eastern horizon, due east is right about there. And that means my celestial equator looks something like this, right? It's tilted, it goes through due east, it goes through due west. And right now in the fall, the sun is right there, which is below um, the celestial equator, right? This is October. So the sun has just passed the celestial equator. On September, like 20, it was right on the celestial equator. Now it's just below it. Now, the tricky thing here to see is, how is the sun actually moving over the course of a single day? We call that, in our simulation, we call that a declination circle. You could also just call it the path of the sun. All right, so here's the way to see it on the sky, right? Here's my celestial equator through due east and due west. And here is the sun, right? And I'm actually gonna trace out the path of the sun. There's the celestial equator. There's the sun right on my thumb. And I'm gonna trace out the path. The sun on, on a given day, its declination does not change, uh, you know, more or less. So on a given day, the distance between my thumb and that celestial equator stays fixed. So watch my thumb. Beep, 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 beep. That means the sun rose just a little bit south of due east. It's going across the sky and it is, there it is right about now, about lunchtime. And it's gonna set just a little bit south of due east, right? Now, if I were to come back, and I'd like to do this later, we'll see if I get a chance to do a different, the right time. If I come back to this same spot, we're gonna see that as we get closer to winter, the sun is setting further and further south, right? It's declination is going further and further down, which means it's setting further and further south. And for that matter, it's, it's rising further and further south. And on the opposite, if I just turn my head around, in the, win in the summertime, the sun's, the sun's declination is gonna start getting positive, right? So it's gonna be up here and it's gonna start rising north of due east. And again, it's gonna stay the same distance, right? If it's around the end of my thumb, it's gonna stay the same distance from that celestial equator all the way, and it's gonna be setting north of west. And what does that do for me, right? What it means is that the sun is up not only higher, but it's up much longer during the day. All right, so I hope that's a helpful way to see it, and I'll try to, I'll try to check in throughout the year, and if not from this location, then from some other locations, so we can watch how the changing position, how the sunset and sunrise location changes throughout the year.